Do you really need to slide the elbow on the asphalt to go faster? Let us look together. In this video, you are going to understand why to go faster you need to lean your motorcycle more. Have you ever asked yourself why the MotoGP top rider lean their motorcycle over 60 degrees? In order to answer this question, we need to perform the balance of the motorcycle. What I mean by this is that we have to come out with all the forces that are acting on us while we are turning in order to see how they affect the dynamics of the system. Anyway, don't worry, we are going to develop it step by step together. But before moving on, we need to introduce something. This thing is very important in order to develop our consideration. I'm talking about the center of gravity. In physics, the definition of center of gravity is an imaginary point in a body of matter where, for convenience, in certain calculation, the total weight of the body may be thought to be concentrated, so a theoretical point. In fact, the center of gravity is not a real material point of the body. Sometimes it does not even lie on the body. The center of gravity has essential characteristics in the study of the balance. In fact, a rigid body behaves as if all of the mass is concentrated on a single point which is the center of mass, of course. To be more familiar with this concept, let us start by identifying the center of gravity of our system. In the picture, we see the center of gravity of the rider and the motorcycle. However, we need to identify the center of gravity of the whole system. Since a rider with technical equipment weighs about 80 kilograms and a motorcycle with fluids weights around 200 kg, the center of gravity of the wall system will lie near to the center of gravity of the bike, as you can see in the picture. We have identified it with the green point. We know we have a mass, and since we live on Earth, we have a weight. To be more precise, a weight force can be applied to us along the center of gravity. So, there is this vertical force that pushes us in the direction of the ground. A body is in balance only when the sum of the external forces is equal to zero. If we just had the weight force, we would start to go down, underground. But as we experience every day, this does not happen. So, there must be at least one other force that is contrasting the first one. Actually, there are two forces, the reaction forces provided by the ground, rear reaction and front reaction. With these forces, we end the computation of the vertical balance. We could now also perform the horizontal balance by seeing all the horizontal forces that are acting on the system. But it is not useful to answer our question. Why, if I go faster, do I need to lean more? To do so, we need to introduce a new force that is always horizontal but is perpendicular to the motion, so it is a lateral force, and it appears when we perform a bend. We know that we will experience a force that pushes us out of the curve radially, and this is the centrifugal force. This force is the same force that we experience when driving a car. We feel our body is pushed to the right or left when we turn the car. If we have a motorcycle that is leaning to the right and we show the position of the center of gravity of the bike and the rider, we find the center of gravity of the system. Let us call the roll angle beta. We know that we have a mass and gravity pulls us to the ground, so we need to apply a weight force, W, to the center of gravity of the system. At the same time, we need a reaction from the ground to have the vertical balance. The two forces have the same intensity, but, as you can see, they are not aligned. This means that they generate a torque which rotates the system clockwise. This torque is equal to W times B. If that were all, the motorcycle would immediately fall to the right. However, we have discovered the presence of the centrifugal force, and this is applied to the center of gravity of the system. However, of course, to respect the horizontal balance, 
there must be another force. This is the friction provided by the tiles on the asphalt. This force is applied to the contact point between the tiles and the ground. So, the answer that we are looking for is right here in the picture. What happens if we decide to run across a turn faster? Well, first of all, the centrifugal force increases. This means that to respect the horizontal balance, the friction force needs to increase. Now, we have a new problem. The centrifugal force and consequently the friction force increased their magnitude, but our weight has not increased, and even if it had, mass is also present in the centrifugal force formula, so it would not be helpful for us. So by doing nothing, we will lose balance, and we will lose the capability of performing the turn. However, looking at the torque balance, W times B equal to centrifugal force times H, I can do something. Right now, the torque W times B is weaker than the torque Cf times H, but I can work on the leverage. If I increase B and I decrease H, I will be able to restore the balance. How can I do this? Simple, I can increase the lean angle. By increasing the angle beta, we have increased the length of B and decreased the length of H to compensate for the increased centrifugal force. You have just understood why to go faster you need to lean more. This is the reason behind the sliding elbows that we see on TV from the top riders of the MotoGP. If you want the best education in the motorcycle field with up-to-date and state-of-art content, MAP is your choice. If you like to receive other free videos, just click in the link in the description and we will provide you with more new technical material. I'll see you in the next lecture.